Hey, what's up everybody? This is your boy C Will back to you with another video. Today we're talking about the PlayStation 5. Um, and yeah, just did the latest update. Um, it was released, I think this past Friday. I've been out of town. Um, but just so you know, if I go down here to system, I go to uh console information, and as you can see, system software. Um, it's the 21.02, yada, yada, yada. Everything is up to date. So we have the software update that actually unlocks the official uh, firmware for the M.2. And so if you haven't seen my M.2 video yet, make sure that you check that out. I'll put it down in the link in the description below. Um, but here, one of the things I wanted to test out was does the Samsung 980 Pro, you know, is it faster? Um, so... What I've done, I actually transferred some of my games, like the most important games, over to the console storage. Um, and as you can see, here is the M.2 Samsung 980 Pro, two terabyte. Um, I left some games on here, um, but the way that we're going to test out the speed, I think I could go, go down here and hit reformat, and then it'll test the actual speed again. So if you don't know, the actual Samsung 980 Pro gets up to 7,000. Uh, megabytes per second and so I think if I hit reformat it'll allow me to uh, be able to do another speed test so we're going to check that out real quick so to reformat your M.2 SSD you need to restart your PS5 if you reformat the M.2 SSD all data on it will be deleted and that's fine because I transferred like some of my main games back to the internal storage just to try this out so let's, let's do this And one thing that we're going to check, um, if you saw my other video, and when we did the, you know, I think the read speed that it did the test on was like 5,700 megabytes per second. And so we're going to see if the actual firmware ups that number. Um, if it doesn't, then one of the things that I'm going to try out is actually popping this Samsung 980 Pro into my computer and maybe do a, uh, you know, a firmware update through Samsung to see if I could be able to get a higher number. Um, so it says, yeah, so I want, I actually want to format. Um, we got to press the PS button on the controller. Uh, when you format your data, yada, yada. So let's see what, how fast the actual read speed is after it finished formatting. And I'm going to be curious to see. Okay, so now this answers my question. So if you see that um, it did the format, it did the test. Um, I pretty much got the same speed I did last time, which is 5,767 megabits per second, uh, megabytes per second, however you want to say it. Um, and so what I am going to do is I am, I'm actually going to pop out the 980 Pro out of the PS5. Put it in my computer and see if I can actually do a firmware update through Samsung um, to see if, you know, obviously, you know, a lot of people just be asking questions about this. I don't think this makes a big of a difference, but, um, you know, you got to think about it. You know, a lot of other drives don't have these different, you know, firmwares and stuff uh, to be able to unlock speeds, but Samsung does. So we want to test it out just to see if we can be able to prove a myth right or wrong. Um, to see if that even makes a difference. Um, but let's do it. Okay, so we got PS5 open. Let's go ahead and take this off. And all we're gonna do, put that to the side. Take that off. As you can see, uh, even though that this is an ORS heat sink uh, on a current drive that I have inside of my uh, PC, um, the actual Samsung 980 Pro is actually built in. I mean, you know, I put that inside per my last video. So, um, and to answer your question, I don't think that you could be able to buy this heat sink separately. Um, I just heard that uh, PlayStation released their own heat sink, believe it or not. And this is supposed to... There we go. See? But yeah, I believe PlayStation just released their own type of heat sink, so we are definitely looking to that as well. You know, see what that's about. But we're gonna pop this in the computer. Okay, everybody. So I popped the drive in, I initialized the disk. That's something that you do inside Windows. And as you can see, it's showing up here, Samsung 980 Pro, two terabyte. 
if I go over here to draft details, um, it says the firmware version is 3B2QGXA7. Um, and that is the latest version. Um, I actually went to update here and was also told the same thing. So um, the firmware version that's on here is the latest. All right, so here's the thing, guys. If you're thinking that um, trying to update the firmware on the drive is going to fix um, that issue as far as in terms of the read speed and stuff like that on the drive, it's not. <laughs> so save yourself from being able to do that. That's one of the things I was going to check out. Um, what you're seeing here is performance optimization. Um, these tick marks is what allows Windows to be able to actually use the full performance of the drive. Obviously, this is a Windows thing. Uh, I am going to hit optimize drives just to see if it does anything. Um, I don't think it will. Um, see, it says optimize drives here. Again, this is a lot of Windows stuff. Um, but it did. It does say that new volume I, which is what I just created, uh, needs optimization. So let's see what happens. When hit optimize, how long is it? Schedule optimization on drives of being analyzed on the schedule. Uh, we go okay. Don't know if that's going to fix anything, but. I decided to go ahead and just do a diagnostic, do the full scan. It's been running for almost 30 minutes now, almost done. Everything is good. Still a fairly new drive. Um, after this, I am going to go ahead and just pop it back in the PS5 and check it out. All right, so we have her loaded back up. Let's see if we get anything different. All right, so it says can't access your M.2. Try turning off your PS5, remove your M.2, and then inserting it again. If it doesn't work, try reformatting it. If you reformat your M.2, so let's just reformat. Format M.2. And as you can see, we're pretty much getting the same numbers again. So, I wouldn't worry about it. I think this is just a real quick speed check. Um, I've had no issues with the Samsung 980 Pro Drive. Um, I know you have other drives that's out there that's uh, giving you know higher read speeds and stuff like that. I don't think that matters. I think the biggest thing that matters is how the actual drive performs and not what we're seeing on the actual unofficial quote unquote read test that's being done by the PlayStation 5. So tell me your thoughts. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I know a lot of people was asking me about, you know, whether or not the actual speed, the read speed of the drive was going to go up after the official firmware update came out or after updating the actual firmware on a 980 uh, Samsung Pro and mouse is already updated with the latest firmware. So no, none of that makes a difference as far as the actual uh, read speed test check when formatting the drive. <laughs> so again, uh, thank you for watching this video all the way through. Let me know. I'm going to go ahead and transfer my games back to my M.2 drive and keep it moving um, because everything has been performing great. See y'all in the next video. Peace.